Hello ladies and gents, Cesar Dennis here with a brand new series on the channel and this is Need for Speed Rivals for PC. Now this is the first uh, the first video on it so I'm going to review it a bit. Now I know this game is two years old but it's the latest Need for Speed and I promise you I'll get uh, the Need for Speed 2015 in March 15 when it launches for PC and I can't wait to make videos of that it's a game that I'm really expecting now with Most Wanted um, I finished the game but I've been away on uh, a holiday so I couldn't upload anything um, I got the Pagani and the Koenigsegg Agerar very good cars but I still think the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport is the best of them be ask me or not now let's review this thing a bit. Now the main principle of rivals what that was that like an autolog but better. So basically when you log into a game if you have a uh, internet connection you are always going to be multiplayer playing with another players on your career which is pretty nice. Also if you don't have internet you can play it only with AIs. Now the point I want to make here is that this has to be the shittiest PC port I ever saw. It's just it's just sad that two years ago when PCs weren't that uh, popular and next gen consoles were skyrocketing. Even though, as you know, con I don't really like consoles a lot, uh, at all compared to a PC. This game was ported to PC. Now I think I should guess we're lucky that we have it on the superior platform, but this game is the really, is I think the first game that really showed the impact that a console can have on a PC, um, and this is what I mean. I mean, let's let's just go here. By the way, I w I will put if you want training uh, or how the game uh, how the game starts at the finish of the video it has to be the shittiest tutorial i ever seen it's just it thinks all of us were dumb but anyway it was a tutorial but it took from the moment i started the game the first time and finished the tutorial and could actually play the game it took 20 minutes so yeah now um let's go actually to the career overview now you can be either a racer or a cop and you know everybody who play hot pursuit know how this thing goes now i choose a uh, racer because i thought this would be more interesting but i'm going to pick cop because i don't think uh, I don't think the career on uh, on Need for Speed Rivals is that huge so we're going to do both now i uh, i began with the uh, racer Let's see. Okay, let's go first to car select. Okay, I don't know how many chapters are yet. I just finished the first chapter, so I didn't do anything. I have one hour in this game. And already unlocked the Porsche Cayman S, which I got, the Mustang GT, the Dodge Challenger SRT8, the Vanquish, and the BMW M3 GTS, which I do love, and this is my main car that I upgraded. Um, if you go here, uh, you can choose Pursuit Tech. Now, this is you know electro EMP level 1 electrostatic field jammer everything that will let you get an advantage in a game and it's really nice it's really hot pursuit stuff um, now if we go to cars again uh, the cars aren't really that much compared to most wanted they're actually pretty damn low I think there are what 23 cars or 24 something like that and with every rank you get a new car so uh, the car personalization is kind of okay I guess uh, the paint you can choose you can choose a custom paint or uh, or one of the factory ones I choose uh, this you can paint the rims stripes uh, decals if you want to rise your car wraps and uh, liveries um, which are really nice actually which are really nice if on the right car mm, 
on this one not so much but again um, there are nice liveries on some cars now you've got also the license plate which, which is CSRD for obvious reasons and now the performance upgrades, durability, strength, control, acceleration and top speed is nothing really that complicated, it's very easy to learn and now I'm going to do the thing that I hate about this game honestly compared to most wanted PC settings, screen resolution, motion blur, lighting quality, gamma correction, full screen, headlights, shadows, ambient occlusion, reflection quality, FX, qu FX quality now look at me I you have in the settings headlight shadows and you don't have anti-analyzing it's just it's just this has to be the shittiest port ever so you don't have anti-analyzing on a PC game to choose from the settings you don't have FXAA you don't have SMAA you ha don't have anything absolutely anything and um, now let's get to the really shitty part this game is locked from the factory at 30 fps 40 which is the frame rate that consoles run it so i'm forced to run this game at 40 fps you actually have to make an uh, kind of a hack to a game to the game to run it at 60 fps and i won't do it because if you're PC is not powerful enough to keep it sticked to 60 FPS is going to always shutter and uh, shutter and lag and so on so yes we're stuck with 40 FPS on a racing game how beautiful is that I mean yeah 40 FPS in a I don't know MOBA game or um, strategy game yeah no problem but in a racing game really uh, what can you do the game itself is pretty nice actually uh, I do like I mean you don't really have a story it is a bit of a story there but what you have to do is to get is to get these things here which are called current objectives it's, if you can see it there you just have to do those and you're going to advance in your career it's pretty easy actually and now as you can see we're playing with other players uh, I have to get three slams using turbo but I think I'm going to choose something different so yeah all in all for me this game will not be as good as most wanted it doesn't drive as uh, as good the physics are not that good and it's locked at 40 fps and never mention the thing that here are not uh, any cities it's just free road which you can like um, but again a city map just a little one or something that would be nice um, and honestly that's all you have disconnected from the current game Oops. so this is the game now again I finished most wanted and don't don't uh, don't get me wrong the game is actually pretty damn nice if you don't consider the 40 FPS lock the game is okay it's not as good as most wanted in my opinion but it's decent the best thing about this is of course the always multiplayer uh, functions that it has but still you would have thought that EA games will make a PC port better I mean yes from Ubisoft yes I can expect PC ports to be absolutely shit but not from EA games and the f it's, it's actually kinda strange because the new Need for Speed 2015 has an amazing PC port which is much better than console, it has better graphics 4K resolution unlocked frame rate so you can go higher than 6fps which is a premiere in Need for Speed games and you can also have you also have manual transmission that and two free updates that will come uh, to the game fresh out of the box so yeah, I don't know what to say um, let's take it for a spin now the graphics the graphics are pretty important yeah um, I don't think they're as good as new for spin most wanted honestly in my opinion I mean I see trust me all the settings are will try I don't really like these uh, these um, how do you call them um 
Yeah, rip English, just lend me a second here. Anyway, these uh, leaves, yeah, leaves, finally, uh, that are coming out of uh, everywhere. Don't, please don't tell me. Yeah, and of course my, um, apparently my settings already crashed. Yeah, you pretty much have to do, have to have a gamepad on this, but I don't think it's really worth it since it's arcade. It's an, uh, an arcade game uh, and it's not really that difficult, it's nowhere near as difficult as most wanted, trust me. That game is really hard. Uh, WS, left, yeah, okay, E-break, that was going to do tear, and Nitro's tear. Good. Now, um, again, as I told you, you are going to see a lot of videos on this, um, because I finished most wanted and Again, the game is decent, and I like it, and I really want to finish it from the both sides. So, this is it. I wanted to tell you how the game um, how the game starts, but honestly, you have to spend 20 minutes to learn something that most of us already knew. Like pressing a key, and they showed, they showed you a video of how to do it. You're not actually doing that in-game. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, all the rest, yeah, I guess it's pretty fine. Every car comes equipped with NOS, and um, apparently I have to seal for any event. I really like the M3 GTS. I don't think I'll going to change it uh, that soon. But it's the 40 FPS that really kills it for me compared to the most wanted. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not unplayable. But it's a big difference between 60 and 40. It's a very big difference. I mean, I mean, I think the last, the last Need for Speed game that was locked at 40 was Need for Speed Most Wanted, but not the 2012 one, the 2005 one. So yeah, amazing, eh? Uh, what can you do? Anyway, um, the easy drives. Are actually quite okay and the pursuit started. Um, oh, that's the guy. Now it's really funny when the free cops chase after free race or some, something like that. Don't get me wrong, but it's still. Uh, what can you do? This is the cops. Uh, this one in the front of me is AI, and the guy in, in my back was, uh, was a real player. Okay, got three turbo slams, now I just have to silver and that. So this is how the game works, guys. Um, tell me your thoughts in the comments, as always, and I'll see you next time with more content. And yes, I, I will put the Bugatti, the, not the Bugatti Veyron, the Pagani Zonda and, uh, and the Koenigsegg Agera uh, are races on Most Wanted app. Um, but I wanted to share you this game and my opinion on it. Uh, briefly after one hour of playing and um, I'm, I think I'm going to play some uh, multiplayer Need for Speed Most Wanted since I have unlocked the Aventador there um, so yeah this is it as you can see it's not that really hard to drive I mean it's nowhere near as much obstacles uh, as many obstacles and as much traffic as, is, as, it, as it is in Most Wanted and it's nowhere near as easy to crash like in most wanted. So yes, in that respect it's easier, but I still like it. <laughs> what can you do? So with that being said, thank you very much guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.